G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. Today's project is going to be a good one. It's going to be from the world of Warcraft and it's going to be the Frostmore Sword. I got a comment the other day from Ruan Smoots who writes, love the new fantasy sword range. Can't wait to see the next one. Huge fan of Warcraft. Well, it's going to be a good one for you, Ruan, and anybody else who is interested in seeing me sandcast this beautiful sword, then stay tuned. Okay, guys, today's sword is going to be very challenging. It's got that little goat's head on there. Very difficult for the camera to pick up everything. I might do some still shots and put them in. But uh, all we can do is our best. So I'll get it put in this way. Okay, make sure there's plenty of corn flour on that. Get our other framework happening. I'm going to put the sprue in this side. Now if you can see here carefully, there's a little bit of a clean spot just there where there's no face or anything. So that's where I'm going to put the sprue. Let's put it in a spot where you can actually see it. It's going to go about there. carefully again back through Now this is such a big sword this time that I'm thinking I'm putting another breather, another air vent in just at the back down there. And then I'm going to draw a small line with my knife. Just to let any air flow. Alright, back on. Very gentle roll. I don't want to go over the holes too much. 
I need those air vents to be there. Um, I might turn it around this way, just so I've got the pour and the hole lined up in the same spot. All right. I think it's going to be a couple of ounces this time, so let me get some metal prepared. I've got a couple of screws back there from previous pours, that should be plenty. And let's get into it. off all right guys here it is detail I can see the eyes in the side of it there looks like it's gonna shine up really beautifully I'll cut off the sprue give it a bit of a rub over and I'll bring it in okay hang on a minute all right guys here it is it's such a long sword it's hard to get into the camera let me just turn it around so if I can get that detail of his face. Awesome. It's even got a bit of writing in this inside of it just here. I don't know what it says. I can't really make it out, but I know there's writing there. Same on that side. The, uh, the horns have turned out beautifully. If you turn it around on its side, you can see the little faces even on the ends. Awesome. He's come in at uh, a tiny little bit over two ounces. And uh, awesome, really happy. Now, I've been getting in trouble lately because I haven't been opening a letter with them. So let's do that. Okay, guys, I couldn't find a letter, but I folded a piece of paper here. And it cuts perfectly. So there you go. Very happy with the sword. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, guys. Catch you on the next one.